Hey loves, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, this is Maroon and today I've got you this look right here. As you can see, I am not wearing any jewellery whatsoever because the star of the show today is the lips and the eyes also. And in here I have talked about the new Pat McGrath foundation and also have used the new Pat McGrath Mothership 6 palette on my eyes today. So if you guys want to know my opinion on these new products please keep on watching and also stay tuned till the end because i have given you i think three to four lip options to go along with this look whatever rocks your boat pick one all right please be sure to subscribe if you have not already until next time take care stay blessed and beautiful Mwah. bye hi I am in a very funky mood today and my hair is not behaving at all. Please excuse that. So I have already done my eyebrows in order to save us some time and my lips are extremely dry so I am prepping it by this lip balm. This is by, by Terry. This smells like heaven. Oh my goodness. So for my entire face, I will be using this Tom Ford Illuminating Primer. This is a uh, sample size. Generally, this time of the year, your skin tends to act out as the weather is changing outside. So is the need of your skin. So please pay attention how your skin is reacting. Is it too dry? Is it screaming for some moisture? whatever it is and according to that use the primer so that is what i do generally my skin is dry all over the air but this time of the year i need a little bit more hydration so i try to use some sort of hydrating primer like so i like this primer nice and just around the t-zone where i have some pores a little bit of fine lines and things like that i will be using this the makeup forever step one equalizer just around the t-zone so now what i will do is i will quickly color correct off camera and i'll be right back so for foundation today, I am going to be using this one. This is by Pat McGrath, the, what is it called? Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. And I bought this online and the shade matching was pretty perfect. I got this in the shade medium 17. So I have used this before and I have formed opinions, but I would say this foundation is for good skin days this is a gorgeous liquid very skin like formula which you will either love it or hate it so i am still getting along with it but i have worn it a few times by now i have loved it so far and the consistency is pretty runny and the packaging oh my goodness just look at it how gorgeous it is i mean pat mcgrath is a premium brand I love everything about Pratt McGrath. So, uh, let me, I don't know if you guys can see the texture, like, see, it is so runny. See, it is quite runny. So what I like to do is I have used this with a brush and I have used this with a sponge, but the finish that it gives me with a sponge, I prefer that. So what I will do is I will dot it around my face and then blend it in with my beauty blender. So it looks very skin-like and you can easily blend it up. But I like to work it section by section because once it sets, it sets. So one pump was good enough for my entire face. Now I'm just building up around my, what do you call this area? Chin. What? So 
sorry about that. <laughs> so it builds up beautifully, all right? And I forgot absolutely to put it on my neck. Uh, uh, totally, uh, I'm in a very funky mood today. Never forget your neck, guys. All right, so for my concealer, I am using this Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Golden Beige. Blendy, blendy. Oh, I love this concealer. So now is the time for, what is it time for? Cream contour. <laughs> So for cream contouring, I want to add some sort of warmth plus dimension. For that, I am using this Fenty Beauty Matte Sticks in the shade Cognac. This is a little bit shimmery, but it adds a beautiful warmth. I love this. So yeah, it might look a little crazy. Don't worry, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. See, it was not difficult to blend at all. So I just apply it on my cheeks, not anywhere else on my face because this is shimmery and I do not want shimmer all over my face. So now to set underneath my eyes, I am using this By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. Focus, if you shall. So the trick with this powder is you need the tiniest amount. You do not need a lot of it. You will mess up your whole face. Like slightest amount and just dab it lightly underneath your eyes. So this just makes your face look like airbrushed. And just to set the rest of my face lightly, I will be using the Charlotte Tilbury powder in the shade number one. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. See, I have even almost finished this. It is rare for me to finish any product, which means I have been loving it. I love it in all types of skin textures on my clients. It just goes with all types of skins because it is a very fine demand powder for fall winter time. There is one palette that I can recommend for you and you would not regret spending any money after it. It is such a beautiful one. This is this by Natasha Denona. This is the tan palette. So it has one cream highlight, one cream blush, one powder highlight, and one bronzer. So this works wonderfully for medium tan skin tones, even for fair skin tones. You just have to go a little light-handed with it. So I would start bronzing up my skin with this powder, and these are very pigmented. Just go, start with a very light hand. With any product, you should just start with a very light hand and then gradually build it up. So I really like that it has a shield for the cream product so that the powder doesn't get in there. So I am using a small beauty blender to use the cream highlight. I believe it blends in better this way. Oh, you are pretty. You are very pretty. So if you like a light sheen on your cheeks, you can just leave it there. But if you know me, I am the queen of glow. I love everything glowy because I believe it makes you look healthy. So now with the same sponge, I'm going in with this one. This is a gorgeous color. So where I will place it is in between the contour and the highlight, just a little light there. But I will not put it on my cheeks because it is a bit shimmery. 
like that. Natasha Denona products are like worth it guys. It's worth it. So you are not surprised if you know me for some time. I will definitely go over the cream products with the powder highlight. So today I am using this Jue highlighter. This is in the shade Skinny Dip. And I'm using it with a Sephora fan brush. This highlight has a very beautiful bronzy tone to it. Hence I have chosen this for the fall look. Well guys, you must be thinking, why is she wearing an off-shoulder dress for fall? <laughs> the part of the world that I live in, there is nothing called fall actually. It is still 35 degrees Celsius outside. Not my fault. But I still like fall. Tip of my nose and bridge of my nose. So for blushes, I have chosen two very fall colors and this is from Sephora. One is this. Am I holding it right? Yeah. So for, I love these shades with these kind of attires and it just enhances your complexion so beautifully it will be like you're just flushed from within kind of. See also these blushes are very pigmented start with the light hand see it's just brings life back to your face i love using blushes so there is one thing which i have been doing lately and it has completely changed the makeup game of mine i have been baking underneath my chin and on my fine lines and that way it has been looking like very chiseled cheekbones and my foundation and concealer and whatever I've put on top of it does not settle into the fine lines you know and for that I have been using this Huda Beauty banana bread powder this powder is gorgeous it has a very strong smell to it but I can look past it as it works beautifully for me so I am taking my sponge dipping it in the powder and just cleaning up the contour side but I will not bring it all the way because I have like a long triangular kind of a face so I don't want to make it look like long anymore my left lines and I will be setting my brow hairs with this hourglass brow setting gel so I got this in the mail I am trying it out. It is in the shade Dark Brunette. You are very dark, baby. You are very dark. Okay, I have to set my brow hairs with something else right now because it is looking extremely dark. So on top of it, I'm going in with this uh, Benefit 3D Brow Tones because I need to lighten my brows a little bit. Come back with the bronzer brush just to blend in so that there is no harsh edges right after you have baked. See how flawless it looks, right? And now I am thirsty. Hmm. So I have zoomed you guys in a little bit so that you can see what I am doing on my eyes. And for the eyeshadow, I want to keep it really simple because during fall season, we tend to wear a little bright lips, you know, not bright lips, dark lips rather. So for the eyeshadow, I am using this gorgeous palette by Pat McGrath. This is the Mothership 6 palette. And this is the one. So I have already prepped my eyelids with the paint pot by MAC. So to highlight my brow bones, I'm using this shade right here. Pat McGrath eyeshadows are like dream to work with guys. So if you are okay to splurge a bit, 
and you really care about the quality of the eyeshadow, you should go and swatch these in the store first and then get your hands on this. You will not regret it. So first I am taking this shade and I will put it on my crease and a little bit above and I always flick my brush on the outer corner just to lift the eyes a little bit. There is nothing on the brush now so I'm just flicking it outside like that. And then I'll grab a brush like this. This is the Morphe M518 and go in with this shade right on the crease and a little bit below. Oh, look at the color and the pigmentation. See how gradually I'm building up the crease. This is exactly what you want. And then just deepen up the outer corner a little bit. Next, what I will do is, I would recommend this palette as well for the fall season or generally if you do not want to spend as much on the Papmograph palette, this is also a beautiful palette. So this is by NARS, this is the Wanted palette and the shade range in here is also glorious. Like the shimmery shades in here, I'm sorry, are beautiful. So what I will do is, I will just take this one with a flat brush and just pat it right in here. So it does not have much pigment to it, but it adds a beautiful glistening shine to your eyes. Oh, I flippin' love this color scheme of this palette. Then we will go back to the Pomegranate palette again just to deepen up the outer corners a little bit. So for that I will take this deep shade and the red shade again and we will intensify the outer corner like so. See, this is how you create depth onto your eyes gradually. So on the low and lash line I'm taking this shade first. I personally like a very heavy lower lash line. I mean, it just creates that very sexy, droopy kind of eyes. And it just connects with the top lid. Mobile lid, what is top lid? And I will take a hint of that red on the same brush, just to Put it on the outer corner. Come back with that brush and blend the edges. I'm really sorry I forgot to put my phone on silent guys. I really really like this eyeshadow look guys. This is so simple. So now is the fun part. What I will do is I will take my brush, wet it a little bit so that the glitter sticks to it and we will take this shade this one and we will put it in the inner corners like seriously the camera doesn't do justice to this beautiful shade but in person your inner corners will be the spotlight of the party. On our waterline, we will be using this L'Oreal Infallible Eye Pencil in the shade, what is the shade name? Super Copper. I don't know if you guys can see the color. This is a beautiful coppery shade. Like that. Now, I will curl my lashes and wear some mascara. Today, I do not want to wear any falsies. So, this is my favorite, favorite lash combo. This gives me lashes of heaven. And I will add a very, very 
tiny weeny wing at the corner of my eye. Sorry guys, I have to like get to the mirror very close. <sighs> So there is a rule about wing liner. Right at the moment when you think, should I make it a little more thick? Stop right there. Do not do it. It is a mistake and it is a trap. <laughs> so now is the fun part, lipstick. So I have a few which I want to share with you today. But first things first, I always line my lips with a neutral color. Today I'm using this Papagrat Labs one in the shade Supernatural. So this way your lipstick stays on for a really long time. So for the first shade I'm using this Lancome lipstick. I love the way it opens in this color. So first I'm lining it with this one. It is a Rimmel lip liner, obsessed. I love this shade. Oh my god. The light is just washing it out a bit, but oh my god. You are bloody gorgeous. Beautiful, isn't it? So, let's move on to the second option. So, the second lip option is by Fenty Beauty. So, it is in the shade Frickle Fiesta. I love this too. Oh wow. This is one of my favorite shades guys. This just makes your complexion look like flawless and it just, I mean, it's not too much in your face. You can wear it with any color, not necessarily it has to be fall, but oh, you are so pretty. I love this lipstick. I love this. Let's move on to the next one. So this lip, I call it a proper vampy lips. And this is a beautiful shade. It is by Sephora. It is number 27. Sorry, I do not have a lip liner of this shade, but do I need to say anything? I don't think so. This is fabulous. All right, so is there any more left? Yeah, there is one more left, wait. And the last shade is this one by Maybelline. This is the matte ink in the shade number 50. What? I will butcher all the names. You know the real, check the description box, please. Hmm, okay. My lips are on fire, but this shade is also freaking beautiful. I'm just making sure I have no listing on it yet. No. So yeah, that completes this look, you guys. I really hope you guys have enjoyed spending time with me today. And please do not forget to comment below and tell me among these lipsticks, which one is your favorite. All right, take care. Until next time, stay tuned. today oh. and today no